So they'll all be calling you a radical. Gonna hit you right on the jet stream from the other side. Gonna set away. So blood on the snow 2.0. What a fucking nightmare in the whole world. I was one World War Three good at that. Oh, I like all the fucking New Yorker. I mean, I remember when the New Yorker and the Princeton Review and all these fucking muck mucks that think they're smart. Mommy said they were smart. Mommy lied to you. And they interviewed me, huh, Fukushima, in a snowstorm. And I, where's my shoes? And I had, remember when I used to wear these around when I was fighting cancer? I had them on. I was fucking sucked up. Fucking. In New York. We got to the point on my cancer. We start talking about leukemia. We start talking about Ukraine. Death via nuclear fallout. Nuclear reactors. And he stops. My viewers can't have this conversation. We can't have this. It's, it's just too hard for that. I said, no. It's too hard for you. Well, yeah, yeah. There you go. You can't handle the truth. So all these muck mucks are now coming out saying, oh, we're revisiting, a starting a new cold, fuck cold war never ended. You just went to fucking sleep. Fuck it. We're revisiting the fucking the nuclear threats. No, 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 it never went away. I didn't went away. I, my, I kept fighting. So we've had a journalist, a documentary filmmaker killed in Ukraine. So, I mean, this is a, f I don't think people have a fucking clue when this turns goes from fucking two million, don't want to live like a nuclear energy refugee. When this turns into 20 million. Oh my God. I don't think people have a fucking clue what's fucking happening. I mean, they're in denial because you have the political left who has been softballed and fucking postured into this fucking idealism to not raise your voice. The passive aggressive Barack Obama fucking Trojan horse, to the right, fucking loud and ignorant, hate, 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 hate it all, come. hate thy neighbor, come at thy neighbor's Walmart goods, American manufactured Jesus bullshit, meantime, back on the ranch, went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban, went off to Iraq to get a big old sack, went off to Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong, won my wars, fucking Putin. You don't think he's a passive-aggressive fucker? I've been on Putin for fucking... Nobody's fought Putin harder. Why do you think I got zapped in 2016? What, I mean, you think about the CIA in this country. Who are they? Who is... This? Well, let's quote Edward Snowjob. What a con man. Edward Snowjob was put on 60 Minutes. Kevin Blanche told you in the first one hour. Fucking took Lake Barrett in 60 Minutes. Think about it. Think about it. He was in Fukushima, Japan. Before he was in the bunker, him and Lindsay Mills, the pole swinger, fucking split up. Remember, she's there, she comes out. Where are they at? Where were they at? What 2016? Right in front of the White House. Fucking Oliver Stone on Balco on chemo. Fucking, I mean, snow job. I mean, talk about treason. Yet, look what we did to Assange. I mean, Assange was just, he was a reporter, just trying, that's what we do to journalists. Look at freaking Aaron Swartz. Why would he hand the chip to Laura? Where's he at? The self-proclaimed greatest hacker, he says. I was in the CIA. Oh, he was a freaking special. For I grew up in a special forces. Uh, my uncle, Claudia just died. Probably the greatest athlete in the history of this fucking state. My uncle, well, your dad was a better athlete than I was. This is the kind of men that raised it. They were special forces guys. Look at their obituaries. I grew up in fucking one of those families. <laughs> Fuck. Omaha Beach, fucking D-Day, fucking Battle of the Bulge, fucking In the Bunker, fucking Vietnam, fucking POW. I mean, the whole nine yards and some. He was no special. That Twiggy. No, that's not how it works. Pat Tillman's how it works. Mind like trap. Bodies of physicality like no other. Oh, he, he wasn't no He was CIA. Lindsey Mills old words. She's standing in front of the White House and says, oh, we met on geek.com. She's a really... Really, she says right to him. I know what high school you went to. So do I. I'm out there all the time in the old freaking gas station drinking beer. And they get drunk and they tell Kevin Blanche all kinds of shit they're not supposed to tell me. Because they drink too much. What do they think they're doing in Russia? <laughs> oh, you work for Department of Agriculture? Well, point to it. She's like, no, it's over there. Snow job.
I thought he was going to, remember he was going with Julian Son on RT. Remember the head show? RT interviewed me so many times. And I remember telling John Anthony Fairhurst, he and I started the Million Mass March together. You know, which was based on, really fundamentally on the Fukushima meltdowns. That was the foundation. First, we were leading up for the shirtwaist fire in Washington Square. I was there for years with Aaron Swartz. He went to MIT for a media lab. This whole thing, we're going along with the CIA cover-up. Who is the CIA? Who are they? Edward Snowjob. I got to the top of the pyramid. Levels. I got to where I was the very top. I was the best hacker. I was the number one guy. I was their IT guy. The guy. He was had the very top surveillance. And how's he get the very top surveillance? I got in and found out there was another top. Well, who's the other top on 60 Minutes? Global oligarchs, imperialism, we're all in. Okay, so he's, remember the president? Ecuador, right? He's headed to Ecuador. Well, how come they detained Assange and trapped him in the Ecuador embassy? He's on the tarmac. What was that, in Vienna, Copenhagen? And they circled the plane? Well, and just, oh, what a coincidence. He's headed to Russia. Now, in 2016, I'm standing in front of the White House with this and my Russian hat for weeks at the Peace Register. The Russians have stole the White House. It doesn't matter if Hillary or Bill gets in. They've got it. Clinton got Trump got Trump got Clinton. They got it. They had it. I'm going crazy. The Russians have occupied the White House. They will never leave. Trojan horse Obama. Trojan horse freaking Trump. Passive aggressive, loud and ignorant. I mean, I mean, treason. I mean, as Vladimir Putin would say, Vladimir Lenin is the one who coined that term. Get out of here. What would he say? Useful idiots. Who's the greatest passive aggressive monster? Well, he was one. How about Harry S. Truman? So they've taken the freaking reactor. I've been going crazy about Big Z. But don't listen. How is it possible that my YouTube site goes like this and then just crashes? See, I, who, who's the branches of government in this country? C-I-A. N-S-A. C-F-R. The Masonic still run the courts. I'm an anti-Masonic. I split my own rock. You know, the original parties in this country were Masonic and anti-Masonic. Let's see. We didn't feel more win. 13th as the anti-Masonic candidate. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's unbelievable. This is a fucking board game. Putin. <laughs> I mean, fuck, I've been in Eastern Europe so many times. I mean, let's go back. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. We go from a kill Gorbachev to Putin. Blood on the snow, 2.0. It's unfucking believable Whoops, you wrote that book a little over there. All these fucking, I'm smart. Mommy said so. I wrote a book. I'm on RT. I used to tell people, you're crazy going on RT. How about McKill Lesson? You know about him? So I did a tip. Remember in 2015, I'm the guy that started Million Mass March. I mean, go ask Sands. And I know Sands personally. You know, you know, go ask all these people. Fuck, what a movement that was. All for the right things. Remember I got a tip? I'm in Brooklyn and they're like, a guy, anonymous. Kevin, can I meet you? Yeah. Don't go. There's going to be trouble. There's going to be trouble. 2013, 14, I, I led the whole thing. I led the speech. I led the march. I stay in Brooklyn. I stayed in New York. Vice interviews me. They, they can't think things through. The media's pathetic. I'm Naomi Klein. I got a show on RT. I'm freaking Noam Chomsky. Got a show. On, I know Noam personally. I, I mean, I'm like, don't do it. Ralph Nader got a show on there. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because they've interviewed me so many times. They've tried to. And I'm like, they illegally used my voice. You go to Uncut Chronicles, that whole freaking nightmare thing, That's all, they use my voice without my permission. So there's like, don't go. I stay in DuPont Circle, you know, that's where I stay. I'm at the Peace Vigil, or whatever, where they got the direct weapon on 60 Minutes, claims they got zapped. I'm right there all the time. So I don't go. I lead the whole thing in New York which is pretty freaking great activism, went down. All for all the right reasons. Fighting against, one of my gesture and two of my kids. Fighting against foreign entities on running news media. That's been my whole gig the whole time. Simple. Simple. The contract on America in 1994, they changed the law. And they let these foreign entities, we got China TV, 
We got Russia Today. I, I was, I'm like, uh-uh. Uh -uh. I remember a guy who was a Mason himself, because I was in desperation. I was sick, and I got set up. I was supposed to be staying at the Ralph Nader house. I got set up. I got shammed, you know. Plowshares. I love Megan Rice, and I love plowshares. Me and Megan go way back, but let's get real. If I have to hear one more time, I can. All this false equivalency. Arnie Gundershield's in my sight. Oh, it's just a hydrogen blast. Hell, Calcott, don't use the F word. Chris Busby attacks me. I mean, this false resistance, this paid oppositional resistance. If I have to hear it one more time that, oh, we're okay with the technology. Nuclear energy is great, but we're against the bomb. It's, there's the problem. If this doesn't prove you, I'm the guy that named it the Big Z. I've been going crazy. Oh, Forbes of all people's out? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's his plot. I told everybody what I'm screaming. Why do you think he has Z on the tanks? Fuck days before he ever went in. Play back the tape, Your Honor. I knew the Z's for that's the war. Is that reactor the big Z? There is more plutonium 235. That's how you make plutonium for bombs for wars at that place than anywhere maybe on Earth except for Y12. Megan Rice breaks into Y12. I'm at the trial. Well, I didn't see any of these so-called muck mocks. They think they write books, all these book writers. I didn't see them at the trial. I would quote Megan Rice's, Megan's nieces. They were in the Knoxville airport. Kevin, where's, isn't Carol from Utah? Isn't so so from Utah? Oh, they got YouTube sites, or I mean, Facebook pages. You know, they're going, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where are they? I'm here, aren't I? And she says, yeah. It says volumes. And I was full of cancer. Got a gun put in my face in Knoxville. I almost got killed. And I got saved by a God. fucking talk about books. Like, what's her name? She says, Kevin, do you need to write a fucking book? She says, fuck, Kevin Blanche, where would you begin? And number one, the fucking book would be this fucking thick. 